What's up guys, in this video I will guide you on how to get WhatsApp on your Firebolt smartwatch. So if you want to be able to connect and receive all of your WhatsApp messages and notifications from your phone to your Firebolt smartwatch, this video will guide you on how to go about doing that. First things first, you actually have to connect your Firebolt smartwatch to your phone using the Dafit app. So you want to head over to your phone whether you're using an iPhone or an Android phone and then Go over to the top notification center on your phone, make sure you turn on Bluetooth, and then also make sure you turn on the service location of your phone as well. Once your Bluetooth and your service location is turned on, you want to head over to the iOS App Store or Google Play Store if you're using an Android phone. And from your App Store, you want to search for the Dafit smartwatch app. You can literally see the app over here, DA Fit, and then just make sure you download and install this app into your iPhone or Android phone. And once the app is downloaded and installed, you want to go ahead and pair it up with your Firebolt smartwatch. So go ahead and open it up directly from here. And now you want to set up the app, click on the agree and continue button at the bottom over here. Then give the app permission to use your location to search for nearby devices. Now click on allow over here. And now it will start to look for your Firebolt smartwatch. You can go ahead and just skip this and do it later. So click on device not found skip. Now proceed to fill in all of the information over here and make sure your information is correct. Then just click on the done button once you're done. The app is now fully set up. You also want to give it permission to send notifications to your Firebolt smartwatch. So click on allow over here. And now to pair both the Dafit app to our Firebolt smartwatch, you want to come over to the bottom where we have this watch icon over here. Select it. And now you want to click on the add a device button. And automatically your Dafit app will start to look for available devices it can actually connect to. You can literally find the name of mine over here. So I'll just go ahead and select it just like so. And it is trying to connect as you can see from the top. Now both devices are now successfully connected together. You're also going to see a Bluetooth pairing pop up asking you to pair both devices via bluetooth but if you do not see it just go over to the bluetooth of your phone whether you're using an iphone or android phone and then make sure you actually pair with your firebolt smartwatch as you can see it is also paired over here as well in order for us to now be able to receive all of our whatsapp messages and notifications you basically just want to go ahead and select the notifications button over here and then once it opens up, you want to go ahead and select the app that you want to be able to send notifications and messages from your phone to your Firebolt smartwatch. In my case, it is the WhatsApp app. So I'll just go ahead and toggle on this button for WhatsApp. Just make sure you toggle it on. Now it is going to ask you for permission to be able to send push notifications from your phone to your Firebolt smartwatch. Just go ahead and click on enable. And now you want to go ahead and look for your Dafit app from over here. Select it. Now make sure you turn on the allow notification access just like so you're going to see a little warning you want to go ahead and just keep the warning now what you want to do is to go back to the Dafit smartwatch app and then just make sure that under notification you actually turn on whatsapp so that you can now receive all of your whatsapp messages and notifications from your phone to your firebolt smartwatch now that is basically all you have to do but if for some reasons you're still not able to get your whatsapp messages and notifications what you want to do again to fix that issue is to go over to the settings of your phone locate the apps settings from over here you can literally find mine over here now go ahead and look for the dafit smartwatch app from the list of apps over here so select it as well and then under notifications at the bottom make sure you turn on show notifications for the dafit smartwatch app you also want to go ahead and look for the whatsapp app select your whatsapp app and also under notifications make sure you turn on the show notification permission for the whatsapp app at this point you can go ahead and try sending a message okay so i have just sent a whatsapp message using my other phone to myself and you can literally see the message on my phone over here that says hey please subscribe to this youtube channel it is a whatsapp message from myself and if you come over to my firebolt smartwatch over here you can also see the message saying hey please subscribe to this youtube channel if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one